Hi, this is Jennifer from Burr Oak Studio. Today, we are going to be taking some old 12-inch, sorry, 14-inch knitting needles and all the awesome colors they come in. Look at this one. Uh, I don't buy any of the needles that I use for my jewelry and accessories new. They're all trades and estate lots, but look at this blue. Someone knit with that so much they wore the color right off the tip. I love it. If only they could talk. We're going to be taking needles like that that I've already cut up. And we are going to be using these little bits and bobs. And we're going to be making, um, it can be a key fob. It can be a zipper pull. It can be whatever you want it to be. It's just a great little accessory uh, showing your love of the fiber arts. To use those today, we're going to need some jump rings. These are 7 millimeter jump rings with a split in them. You need some sort of a bar mechanism. This one has a uh, screw end on one end. It looks sort of like a, a cone, I guess. And you also need a clasp. This is a lobster clasp, gets its name because it looks like a big old lobster claw. It does have an opening mechanism on one side and a swivel on it so it can spin around depending on if it's hanging off of your purse or a backpack or your jacket, whatever. Um, and I do have, if you get one of the kits from me, I do have clasps. There's some heart-shaped ones. There's some more streamlined ones, not quite as chunky as the first one. And different bars. This one has a cylinder on it. Uh, this one has two different balls on it, and one of them will unscrew. So what we're going to do, let's put this one together. You're going to take your jump ring. If it's not together already, you are going to need a pair of pliers. These are bent nose, uh, bent needle nose pliers. I kind of like these just because I can see around everything. And to open this jump ring, let me close it. I already pre-opened it to be cool, but I want to show you how to open it. So this does have a split in it. I'm going to show you with my fingers. When, when you open a jump ring, pretend this is a jump ring. You don't want to open them straight. You want to open it side to side. That puts uh, tension if you open it straight on this side of the jump ring, the middle over here, and they can snap if you open them too much. So it's a side motion. So I'm really bad. If you want to get another pair of pliers and do this, that will save your manicure. My nails are horrible. So I just use my, I hold it steady with uh, the pliers and then just use a fingernail to push it open to the side. You see where there's a gap in there now. I'm going to add the uh, rod that we'll be threading the needles onto. The bright parts and then also the clasp on there too. So let me just get a better hold on here. And again, using my fingernails, just close that up. And you do want the touch, the ends to be touching again so you get a nice solid close there. I, these are about a 12 gauge wire, these jump rings. I do like a little heftier wire, wire if you're going to be putting it on a backpack or something that's going to get a lot of wear or a zipper. So a little heavier jump ring so that it, it's not flimsy. It's going to do all right. Okay. I usually put this stuff together because now when I unscrew this, Instead of having one little piece that could be rolling around my workbench, I have one big piece harder to lose. Uh, your knitting needle pieces, if there's a pattern that you want, depending on what colors you want, this is rainbow color, so I am going to go Roy G. Biv. So red, orange. Can I just tell you, there's so few true orange knitting needles I've ever seen. That one's like a real orange. Uh, I was very excited when I saw that one. I had to get kind of zen about these knitting needles. I used to get a little um, obsessive about, oh, I can't use it because then I won't have any more. Well, you know, I, I sounded like a little bit of like Gollum from the Lord of the Rings. I, I had to knock myself out of that and say, you know what? Get them out in the world so people can use them. Uh, that one's gray. Let's go purple next. Red, orange, yellow, green, blue, violet purple and I think there's a little room at the end here we'll put some gray on too I had a really cool dark gray knitting needle come through recently so I cut that up and then once you've got them threaded on I do actually put a little dab of glue right here on the end boop 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 and then uh this threads back on and let's see if I can get it on there spin spin there we go awesome there it is a finished fun piece wearable accessory with showing your love of all fiber arts and or recycling. Key fobs, zipper pulls, bling for your bags. 